Protec. Addressing safety systems with intelligence. For many years, unwanted or false alarms have been experienced by building fire detection systems where members of the public are allowed to sleep, for example in hotels, hostels and on student accommodation sites. Most notably, the bedrooms within these types of premises are the prime cause of unwanted or false alarms. It is often thought that fire detection systems in these types of applications are too sensitive, as false alarm conditions can often result in residents or guests having to evacuate the building. However, this perception that the smoke detectors within the bedrooms are too sensitive is misguided. Smoke from a fire condition creates obscuration within the optical sensing chamber of the detector and therefore initiates a genuine alarm condition. Unfortunately, other phenomena can cause the very same effect as smoke and this is where false alarms become a serious concern as they can cause nuisance, disruption and worst of all apathy as the true validation of the alarm condition. Nuisance alarms from aerosols, including deodorants, hairsprays and air fresheners, dust and steam from bathrooms and showers, can all create the effects required to make the smoke detector alarm. Protec Fire Detection PLC solved the problem of these unwanted alarm conditions using multi-technology sensors where signals from different sensing elements interact together to validate if the alarm is genuine or unwanted. Protec have many years of experience and thousands of reference sites throughout the world where our detectors ensure minimum false alarms and enhance fire detection within these challenging environments. This video is intended to clearly show how various and often quite normal events and actions can affect different sensors and their ability to react to genuine and unwanted alarm activations. For the following tests, a standard Protec 6000 Plus digital addressable optical smoke sensor interactive dual technology optical heat sensor and interactive multi-channel optical heat CO sensor have been utilised. Test 1. Deodorant aerosol spray. This test is to show the effect of a standard deodorant aerosol being sprayed on the three different types of detectors. A typical amount of deodorant used by a person is sprayed directly across the three detectors. After approximately 15 seconds, the optical smoke detector produces an alarm condition, as the optics of this device have sensed a similar phenomenon as all be produced by smoke. The test was allowed to run for approximately two minutes, and during this time, the optical heat and the optical heat CO detectors did not produce any alarm conditions. Test 2 – Hairspray Aerosol This test is to show the effect of a standard hairspray aerosol being sprayed on the three different types of detectors. A typical amount of hairspray is sprayed directly across the three detectors. After approximately 30 seconds, the optical smoke detector produces an alarm condition, as again, the optics of this device have sensed a similar phenomenon as would be produced by smoke. The test was allowed to run for approximately two minutes and during this time the optical heat and optical heat CO detectors did not produce any alarm conditions. Test 3. Air Freshener Aerosol This test is to show the effect of a standard air freshener aerosol being sprayed on the three different types of detectors. A typical amount of air freshener is sprayed directly across the three detectors. After approximately 15 seconds, the optical smoke detector produces an alarm condition, as again, the optics of this device have sensed a similar phenomenon as would be produced by smoke. The test was allowed to run for approximately two minutes, and during this time, the optical heat and optical heat CO detectors did not produce any alarm conditions. Test 4. Small Fabric Fire this test is to show the effect of a small, genuine fire condition on the three different types of detectors, where the ignited fabric is a small piece of toweling material, as may well be found in a typical hotel bedroom. The toweling is ignited outside the test environment and placed directly under the three sensors. After approximately 50 seconds, the optical heat CO sensor produces an alarm condition. 
This is because a true fire condition has created a combination of smoke, which is seen by the optical channel, a small amount of heat, which is seen by the heat sensor channel, and most importantly, a relatively high amount of carbon monoxide, which is monitored by the CO sensing element. It is the combination of the amount of each phenomenon created over the specific time period that has allowed the algorithms controlling the alarm making decision to produce the genuine alarm condition. After approximately 1 minute 35 seconds, the optical sensor produces an alarm condition from the smoke created. After approximately 1 minute 45 seconds, the optical heat sensor produces an alarm condition from a combination of smoke, which is seen by the optical channel, and a small amount of heat, which is seen by the heat sensor channel. Test 5. Steam only. This test is to show the effect of steam created by a hotel room shower on the three different types of detectors. For the test, steam is sprayed into the test chamber and allowed to pass across the detectors. This would be typical of steam from a shower where the ensuite bathroom door is opened, allowing the steam to contaminate the detector. After approximately 35 seconds, the optical smoke detector produces an alarm condition as again the optics of this device have sensed a similar phenomenon to that produced by smoke. The test was allowed to run for approximately 5 minutes and during this time the optical heat and the optical heat CO detectors did not produce any alarm conditions. Test 6. Steam and small fabric fire. This test is to show the effect of steam created by a hotel room shower on the three different types of detectors and the ability for some detectors to still respond to a genuine fire condition without false alarming. For the test, steam is again sprayed into the test chamber and allowed to pass across the detectors. After approximately 40 seconds, the optical smoke detector produces an alarm condition, as again the optics of this device have sensed a similar phenomenon to that produced by smoke. After one minute, a small piece of toweling is ignited outside the test environment and placed directly under the three sensors. After approximately 2 minutes 28 seconds, the optical heat CO sensor produces an alarm condition. This is because a true fire condition has created a combination of smoke, which is seen by the optical channel, a small amount of heat, which is seen by the heat sensor channel, and most importantly, a relatively high amount of carbon monoxide, which is monitored by the carbon monoxide sensing element. It is the combination of the amount of each phenomenon created over the specific time period that has allowed the algorithms controlling the alarm making decision to produce the genuine alarm condition. After approximately 3 minutes 45 seconds, the optical heat sensor produces an alarm condition from the smoke created. This is because both smoke and heat are produced by the fabric fire. It is the combination of the amount of these phenomena created over the specific time period that has allowed the algorithms controlling the alarm making decision to produce the genuine alarm condition. Protec Fire Detection is the UK's largest independent fire alarm systems company. Through Protec owned businesses in the UK, Holland and Spain, and together with our partner distributors around the world, Protec have provided complex and reliable fire alarm systems to some of the most prestigious hotel groups and accommodation buildings around the world. The Protec 6000 Plus range of multi-technology sensors utilise sophisticated algorithms to ensure the best possible fire detection and false alarm discrimination. Protec, addressing safety systems with intelligence.